Hello there, Siren Trades here, or some people I call me Simon Trades. Now, usually you find me going up around the country, visiting railway stations and filming different kinds of trains. But unfortunately, we're still in a national lockdown, I can't do that. However, though, what I'm out blogging is my commute to work because I'm an essential key worker. I work in retail. And unfortunately, we're off to a kind of a bad start. But we're not off to a bad start because, as you heard, the 726 Rouge Trent Valley is running 10 minutes late. But it doesn't really affect me when I get to Rouge Trent Valley because my train's not till 8.09 to Stafford, which goes on to crew. Now, unfortunately, unlike last week when it was cold and frosty, you join me at Bay Rep Rouge Town Railway Station and it's really chucky down with rain. But I welcome you to Lockdown Commuter. So you join me now at a still raining Rouge Trent Valley Railway Station and you just see 350 234 departing Rouge Trent Valley on platform one. That's the 744 to Burger Blue Street. Now apparently it got here late because apparently it was stuck outside Warsaw where another train was doing a shunting move. That's the reason for the delay. So that's a very interesting one indeed because I've never heard of that delay. As it's not as common, it's a bit rare, but it's a strange one to be honest. But before we carry on filming some trades, I do want to talk about the timetable changes because there are starting to reduce timetables. Now, West Midlands trains, they're reducing three services to replace the bus services. And that's the Master Bell Line between Bedford and Bletchley, the Nuneaton to Nevington Line, that goes by Kenilworth and also the Abbey Line from Watford Junction to St Albans Abbey. By the time this video goes out, the reductions have done because I'm not surprised if our line, the Rouge to Bergen Line, get, goes back to one hour per service, an hourly service, because at the moment it is still running every 30 minutes. But I've published the timetable as I'm doing this blog today, so they could change it or they could keep it the same. But it's not just West Midlands trains that are reducing services, it's other services as well, like Northern. LNER are not reducing theirs until the 1st of February. Fancy West Coast pay reducing services. There's a lot of service reductions, unfortunately, but it's this lockdown at the moment. There's less people travelling. And I'm only travelling at the moment because I'm an essential key worker and I'm commuting to work. But what it does not state is, is what I can and can't do while I'm commuting to work. So this is why I'm filming trains and doing this blog on my commute to work. So we're going to fill some more trades now and see what comes through. But our next service will be the 809 to crew, which takes us to Stafford.
Now this 350 that's pulling in now is the 749 to London Euston. Now, if I go down to London for the day, this is the train that I catch to get down to London Euston, believe it or not. And sometimes I do catch it in January and this is what it's like on a January morning down to London. Dark. But I have not been to London since the 23rd of October 2019. That's how long since my last London trip. But unfortunately it's due to this pandemic that I can't do it. Just see how wet it is because of my hair is just so wet indeed but we're now on the 0809 to crew now this though goes far as Stafford now you wonder why I'm not wearing face covering because I do have a face essential badge on me now once at Stafford I'm probably just gonna hang around the car park where I was at last week just filming some trays before I start heading to work but yeah I couldn't even go to the waiting shelter because there was four people already in the waiting shelter I'm not sure if they're traveling not essentially or essentially whatever but the waiting shelter was a bit full so you can't really go in there if there's like four people in there because it's like social distancing and all that but anyway I'm always out of whatever weather it doesn't matter if it's rain snow sun I think next week's um, lockdown community block could be tornadoes for all I know just have to wait and see till next episode Stafford Railway Station is just there. I'm actually in this car park just north of Stafford Railway Station. A uh, local tip again is for people that live in Stafford and you train spotters, you come to this car park and you can fill trains all day from this car park if you want to. In fact, if you do it overnight at Stafford, this is the location as well that if you have to do overnight in this car park because you're not allowed on the station to fill trains between, I think it's after midnight about six o'clock in the morning something like that I'm not 100 sure but when people do overnight to Stafford Railway Station they actually use this car park right here now we are waiting for a freight train actually we're waiting for a Gloucester to Cliverow cement train which will be GBRF I'm going to film that one passing through and then I'm going to be making my way to work to get some food do a shop and get some breakfast before I start work because don't start work till 10 o'clock Now that 
was almost bowlage indeed because that Pedillo is just arriving to platform one at Stafford right now. And the freight train that I just got, the Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire, Gloucester to Cliverow Sped train has just gone through before this train arrives. So that was brilliant indeed. Now I'm going to leave the car park now, go to Victoria Park to have a quick look there while I'm on my commute to work. So you join me now by the river Sal, that's spelled S-O-W, and unfortunately it has burst its banks a bit. But the reason I'm here is because right behind me is where I work at Asda. Now I'm going to stop filming here now because they don't like me filming on Asda property I don't think. I don't know to be honest but I'm not going to do it anyway so I'm going to stop filming now and I'll see you for this evening. Hopefully it dries because the weather is easing off with the rain. Funny how you go to work and the rain eases off and the weather if you finish work it's going to start raining again. I'll bet you anybody it's going to start raining again. But anyway I'm going to end this now. Go to work, I'll see you later for the evening commute. So there's just something on the lens here, let me clean it. That's better. And we're in the car park at Stafford Railway Station again. It's time for the evening commute. Now my evening commute will be the 1655 London North Western Railway Service. From here that will take me to Rouge Tread Valley, that goes on to London Euston, and then Rouge Tread Valley a change for the 1720 service to Bergen International. But it goes far as Rouge Town on it. It's all going to be 350 to zeros anyway. But what intrigues me is, is outside Stafford Railway Station there is replacement buses. I think I noticed on a map a cross country Voyager or Super Voyager has gone by a crew. So I think there might be problems with the Stoke on Trent area. I'm not 100% sure. It's only what I've seen between walking to the railway station. Now I just heard the 1636 the cruise just arrived so I'm going to film that out for the car park and I'm going to go on to the station to catch my train back to Rouge Tread Valley. Just as a thought, there's a Banty West Coast train service that's going to Manchester Piccadilly that is stopping at Stafford which is just here now because the service by Stoke-on-Trent must be disrupted so it's not calling at Stoke-on-Trent to Macclesfield this Pendino which is about to come in this shop now so there is something going on in the Stoke-on-Trent area just as a thought
So now I'm back at Rougie Town Railway Station and let's talk about today's commute to work from Rougie Town to Stafford and Stafford to Rougie Town because there wasn't really much to talk about to be honest apart from how wet it was this morning it was absolutely drenched in rain but that's the thing with me because it's like it doesn't matter if I'm in snow, rain, sun, sleet, tornadoes, 50 mile per hour winds any weather condition I will be out filming trains and that is one thing about me. It doesn't matter, sometimes it doesn't matter what the weather is, I'll just go out and do it. And this morning it was quite raining indeed. There was a bit of a freezing with it as well, but it was alright. We did get a couple of good freight trains at Rouge Trev Valley though. We got a freight train at Stafford, the Gloucestershire, Gloucester to Cliffhoe cement train, GBRF. And on the way back, from Stafford to Bruges there is some problems in Stoke on Trent because we did see a Manchester Piccadilly Avanti West Coast service stopping at Stafford which is very rare because that should go by the Hicks and Light to Stoke and Macclesfield but unfortunately it had to go by Stafford so they could get replaced with buses to Stoke on Trent which you saw in the blog. Now I'm going to end here in a second but I want to talk about something else first before I end it and I do have a Patreon account now so if you do want to help to support the YouTube channel, I do have a Patreon account, it is listed in the description below. And also I do have YouTube memberships as well, so if you want to help and support the channel that way, I do have the YouTube membership which is listed in the thing as well, but it's on my main page on my YouTube channel, it might be underneath this video actually, there's a join button that will say join, a button that will say join, sorry. So I'm going to end this now, so it has really been a reasonably good commute during this lockdown. I'll see you next week for another lockdown commuting service. I have been Simon Trains, thank you for watching and unfortunately I can't stand here now because technically this is kind of illegal so I've got to go. So I'll see you around. See ya!